In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit vector feature classes in ArcMap. To start with, you need either a shapefile or a feature class in a geodatabase. So here we've got the shapefile called Midroads. And to start with, I'm just going to come up and right click in the gray area over in the toolbar area. And that'll open up a list of all the toolbars that I can have. And I'm just going to select the editor toolbar. So then there's this little context menu here on the editor toolbar. If we pop that down, we can ask the system to start editing. And if we had more than one feature class over here in more than one different directory, it would then ask us which directory we wanted to be editing in. You can only edit in one folder or one geodatabase at a time. But since we only have one, it didn't give us that option. And it popped up this little window over here uh, for creating features. So we see that we're editing this mid-roads layer. And if there was more than one uh, layer or feature class in this directory that mid-roads is in, it would give us the choice to edit any one of those. And if we click on that, it should down here in this little window show us options for construction tools. If you're not getting those options, you can click on this button up here that says Organize Templates. And what you need to do is then make a new template for editing mid-roads. So if we didn't already have this template, we would click New Template, and then we would select this layer that we wanted to make a template for and click Finish. And here we've made another template for editing mid-roads. So we'll close that and we'll just select one of those and it gives us these tools for constructing either lines or rectangles or circles, ellipses, or drawing freehand. What we want to do over here is uh, draw a uh, draw the traffic circle that has been built in Middlebury. So I'm going to zoom in on this area, come over and grab the circle tool, and the traffic circle is somewhere right around here. So I'm just going to click in its center and then drag out a radius and we'll draw a bit of a traffic circle there. Now we want to change where all these other roads sort of meet up and we'd also like to add the new bridge road. Um, so to add that new bridge road I'm going to grab the line tool here and I'd like to turn on snapping so that I can snap right to this vertex. So to do that I'm going to right click and come down and get the snapping toolbar. Put it up here, I'll drag it down next to my editor toolbar and just make sure that my vertex snapping is turned on. So right now it's got point snapping and now vertex snapping. And that way I can snap right to that vertex with the line tool. So I've got the line tool. I'm going to click on that vertex and then come over. I'm going to actually turn on edge snapping as well so that I can snap to the edge of that circle. And there's my line for the new bridge. When I'm done making my line, I can right click and say finish sketch. So there's my line for the new bridge. And now I just need to edit some of these other lines. So to do that, I'm going to get this edit tool. It's a sort of little arrow here. And I can come and click on a line that I want to edit. And then come get the edit vertices tool in the editor toolbar. If I click on there, you can see these are all the vertices that make up that line. And then I can just move that vertice. I've got edge snapping turned on, so it's automatically going to snap. And the cyan line there is just showing you what your old line looked like, uh, but you can see that you've moved the vertice for that end line. And if I were to go and click off in space here, uh, it'll just show you what that, that new line that you've edited looks like. So I'm going to click on this line here and delete it. I'm just pressing the delete key on the keyboard because that road segment no longer exists. I'm going to edit this line as well so that it connects to the edge. Oh, I went a bit too far to go get that vertex, drag it back onto the circle, and do that with this segment as well. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Oops. Snap that onto the circle, and I'll delete that little line segment. And then edit this one. Perfect. So now all of our lines meet at the circle. This road actually connects up to the new bridge road. Um, and so I'm just going to edit that a little bit more. Uh, in order to split this road sort of right here so that they can take a turn and then connect up to the new uh, cross street bridge road, I'm going to grab this split tool up here. It's the sort of crossing lines with the red dot in the middle. And with that split tool, I can click in a place on that road, and it will split that line into two line segments. So there's the line segment to the left, and then the second one to the right. I'm just going to grab the one to the left and hit delete, 
and then come over here and get the line tool and draw a new line segment that connects it up to that road and finish the sketch. So there I've just done a simple, some simple edits to this road network in order to connect it up with a new traffic circle. When I'm done, I can come up back up to the editor context menu, drop it down, and say save my edits. And it's a good idea actually to sort of save your edits as you're working, especially if it's a large project, because if our crashes, you want, uh, you want those edits that you've made to be saved. And then I can stop editing. And that will remove this editing window over here, and now your edits will be saved and you can continue making your map.